A quick guide to rice flower beetles as a live food. The larvae of this very small beetle species make an excellent food for small fish, reptiles, amphibians, and invertebrates. They're very easy to culture. Here's how to do it. Supplies. A container of plastic or glass. Ventilation is optional as long as you open the container regularly. If you choose to ventilate the container, a few small holes should be sufficient. The beetles cannot climb smooth-sided containers or fly. Culture medium, which can consist of a variety of flowers. Whole wheat and a rice flour are suitable. Proportions are not critical. Here, I am using two cups of rice flour and two cups of wheat flour. I usually add a teaspoon or so of nutritional yeast and or spirulina for extra nutrients, but these are optional. A starter culture and a strainer like this tea strainer from a dollar store. Setup. Add the flour to the container and add the starter culture. Secure the lid. Maintenance. These insects require very little care. About every three months, it is a good idea to strain out a number of larvae, pupae, and beetles and start a fresh culture on new flour. Discard older cultures after three to six months. Keep more than one culture at all times so that you always have a producing culture. As you work with them, make sure that none of these insects escape as they are considered pests of grains and other food products. Harvesting. Using the strainer, separate the insects from the flower and put them into another container. There will be a lot of shed larval skins with the insects, which may be removed by lightly blowing on them, which I recommend doing outside. Though I have not tasted them, the adult beetles apparently taste bitter, so you will now want to separate them from the larvae and replace the beetles in the culture container. Separating the larvae from the beetles is really the most labor-intensive aspect of culturing this species. There are many ways to accomplish this. Most of them capitalize on the fact that the beetles are faster movers and better climbers than the larvae. I will demonstrate one separation method I have used with success. You may place your strained larvae and beetles in a container with a roll of window screen. The faster beetles will tend to climb the screen while most larvae will not. You can repeat the process of removing the screen and shaking off the beetles until you have mostly larvae left in the container. Any stragglers can easily be removed by hand. The larvae are now ready to be fed to fish, small geckos, dart frogs, and a variety of other creatures. Because they are so easy to use and maintain, they are great to keep on hand as backup food, item, or for occasional use to increase the variety in the diet of your pets. There are probably almost as many methods of harvesting rice flower beetles as there are people who culture them. If you have a method that you would like to share, describe it or link to it in the comments.